Hello and welcome to the weekly roundup for the week ending Friday the 14th of May. Um, just like to uh, uh, say I hope you're enjoying these weekly reports. Please do subscribe to receive regular stock market content and any questions pop them in the comments box below. Um, right, so what a week we've had. Uh, markets on both sides of the Atlantic are rebounding today but are set to book weekly losses overall. Um, inflation being the word, US inflation jitters and falling commodity prices have weighed on the stocks. Um, US consumer price inflation surged to 4.2% on a year on basis in April, highest level in 13 years. So the data did spook the markets, fueling fears that the Fed would tighten monetary policy sooner and sparking a deep sell off in the US and uh, in the UK. Um, we've had plenty of soothing words from the Fed since. Uh, you combine that with the US jobless claim data falling to the lowest level since the start of the pandemic. And that has calmed the markets and helped stocks to claw back some, uh, some but not all of the losses. Um, earlier on in the week as well, we had the UK GDP reveal that the economy contracted at not as bad as feared, 1.5% uh, in Q1 on a quarter on quarter basis. Uh, in March, the economy expanded 2.1% on a month-on-month -month basis, ahead of the forecast and up firmly from the 0.4% in February. So uh, businesses are gearing up for easing of lockdown restrictions. Even so, the uh, US impact on the FTSE still happened. Uh, so the FTSE is set to show a decline of around 1.5% across the week. DAX is set to book losses of 0.7% this week. And in the US, the Dow is set for a 2% uh, drop over the week, while the tech-heavy NASDAQ has fallen 4.5% in its fourth straight week of declines. We're seeing the rotation out of high-growth stocks continue. Um, the high-growth tech stocks are particularly vulnerable to rising interest rate expectations, um, which is impacting their valuations. Um, over in the FX market, US dollar set to book mild gains of 0.3% across the week, whilst a jump in CPI inflation uh, sent the greenback soaring. The Fed then drumming home a dovish message has pulled the US dollar off its highs. Um, pound against the dollar, uh, looking to book a weekly gain of around 0.6% after it pushed back over 1.40 and to a, a high of uh, 1.4166. So the pound has supported... Uh, and has been supported by the upbeat GDP data and the reopening optimism here in the UK. Uh, Euro against the dollar, heading for a weekly loss of uh, minus 0.4% on the back of the stronger uh, moves in the US dollar. Um, commodities, there's been uh, another bumpy old ride for oil. Oil's been on a wild ride this week and set to close the week or down around 1.5%, following a 3.5% sell-off on Thursday. Um, these losses mounted after the Colonial Pipeline, a key US transportation pipe, uh, was attacked by ransomware earlier in the week. Uh, it's returned to operation yesterday. Uh, oil inventory numbers came in lower than forecast as well. And COVID cases in India, uh, the world's third largest importer of oil, remains elevated, which has caused concern on the fuel demand. Gold, um, set to finish the week flat, really. Um, early losses uh, on the week and then pared them later on as the US Treasury yields also ease lower after a spike on Wednesday. Um, key movers in stocks over in the UK. Um, we have seen some big swings on Burberry. They lost around 8% this week after reporting mixed earnings and reinstating its dividend to pre-pandemic levels as the revenue started to recover. Uh, Q4 revenue rose 32% year on year, but we're down 5% compared to 2019. And that's a, a stark comparison to rivals such as Hermes and uh, LVMH, who have all reported revenues that have exceeded pre-pandemic levels already. Uh, Greggs as well have had a bit of a surge over 7% so far this week. Their share price is up 40% this year, outpacing the broader market and hitting an all-time high. Uh, bakery chain reported that sales have returned to pre-pandemic levels as high streets are reopening uh, in April. Um, as I mentioned earlier as well, commodity prices have sold off this week, which has dragged the mining stocks lower. Rio Tinto down about 5% this week, Anglo-American down about 4%, and uh, the BHP Group, or um, uh, better known as Billiton, are down 5% as well. Um, key stocks over in the US, Tesla, 
Barely a week goes by without Tesla hitting the headlines. This week, Elon Musk has performed a total U-turn, announcing that Tesla will no longer be accepting Bitcoin as payments for its vehicle. The reason? The impact that mining crypto has on the environment. Um, funnily enough, that impact hasn't changed ever. So his U-turn seems um, remarkably strange. Um, but Bitcoin have tanked 10% on the news, whilst Tesla shares also took a 3% uh, hit. Um, so that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Um, all the latest stock market reports are on the website in the Research Center, including a report coming up soon um, about a little secret diamond hidden in the rough in the Ames market. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care.